In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare the MPR device for an ambulatory recording in, in Sleepworks software version 9. In the NATOS database, click the arrow to the right of the new button and choose Sleep from the drop down list. Study information window pops up. Enter patient demographic information. Entries in the last name and first name boxes are required. Any reference system works as long as the two basic name fields contain data. However, it's advisable to enter information in all data fields. To complete the gender information, point to one of the options and click. A black dot indicates the option is selected. Weight and height can be entered in either imperial or metric. Body mass index is automatically calculated. Additional advanced fields about physician, billing ID, etc. are available if needed. The study directory box located at the bottom of the patient dialog box shows the directory on the hard drive or server where the patient's information and data are stored. From the hitbox name option, search for the MPR device and select it. You can also select the acquisition profile, then click OK. If you want to edit the default profile, then from the drop-down list next to the hitbox name, choose Custom. From the system setup information, you can choose if you want to record the ST or the ST plus proxy. You can also redefine the EXG channel to record ECG, EMG or EOG. If you also want to record DC channel, you can select one of the predefined channels. Analysis montage, you can also choose one of the default ones. Automatic operations, if you want to run automatic impedance. Automatic calibration, if you want to display patient initials. And the last option is if you want to modify the analyzers. If you want to also include arousal analysis, you can drop down and select what you want. Then click Next. From this window, you can modify the study schedule. The auto start mode relies on obtaining valid biological signals like SpO2 and effort belts. The other option is to choose the scheduled start and stop time. If you are done, click finish, then start. Then wait momentarily till a window pops up confirming that the configuration is completed successfully. And here we go. Then click OK. Now the device is ready to record. For any reason, if you want to cancel this configuration from the database window, go to Tools, select Ambulatory Manager, then drop down and select the NPR device, click OK, click End Study, the Ambulatory Hitbox Manager window pops up, then Are you sure you want to end the study? Click Yes. Then click close. Then repeat the steps if you want to create another ambulatory recording. This is the end of this video.